time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. It's time to get this movie review started. y'all this weekend i went and saw the cashmere files i went and saw it finally it was uh out a couple weeks now but it finally came to my city this weekend i guess just because the pop popularity of it everybody's talking about it everybody's watching it and and everybody seems to have an opinion on it and then and it conflicts with a lot of other people i mean there's many opinions like this well i'm gonna tell you my opinion and i don't care I don't care if people get mad at me or controversy, but I'm, I believe victims. I don't think there's somebody out there, you know, that gets hurt and beat up and then going to be like, you know, go talk and telling their story about it. And then they'll be like, you lied, <laughs> you know, you lie, you're lying. That ain't happened. I'm one to always believe the victims. I mean, there's always maybe some cases of people doing that, but most of the time, majority of the time, a victim's gonna tell the story. It's not easy for them to tell. It might even be embarrassing, or, or like some, like you might have seen the movie. Like it's so hard on their, on their hearts and soul that they don't even want to talk about it like that grandpa in there. So not to not, you know, maybe what part not people don't want to talk about it is because they fear people not believing them too. I'm just gonna tell y'all, I believe y'all. I believe. The it. movie starts out and and they're in the cashmere, and this is like. Wait, when it started happening in the 90s. Because this movie does. I get confused a lot because it'll flip back and forth in time. You're you're in the 90s here, then you're in present day here. And then, you know, you're you're a little fur, still in the past, but not as far in the past. It, it flips back. So I was kind of getting confused there. But it kind of starts off, you know, when the violence really, like, started. Like, you see these little boys on the playground playing a little with their cricket or baseball or something like that and and they start you know saying stuff and those guys and you know hear it and they start coming after them and then right they start coming after them you're like oh what's going on and and it's the, the people like of the town wanting to take over the town and 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 uh they start coming after them and then you see this woman come out with her daughter and, and they go in the hiding right and there's the the police and you see this woman come out with her daughter and and you're like and and the police they're like what are you doing Did you go back you know this ain't safe didn't you hear and she's like well my like her daughter's sick she told me her daughter has a fever and stuff <sighs> right then here they come boom shot her. like right right away you see this violence and those little boys watching it and I and that part right there, I couldn't help but think because I saw on Twitter like a video going around of people's reactions after they seen a movie, and they had this one guy videotaped that was like there, and he was like, "That was me. I was that little boy on the playground. That was me. I mean, these are all people that was there and went through it. I and and he's like, that's what happened. You know, these are all, and they even telling the story. These are like taken from true stories." Of things that happen and and that guy right there you're gonna be like that was me you're gonna go tell him that he's lying you're gonna go tell that little boy that just saw you know such atrocities happen that you know you're lying I mean I know people even when I said I saw the movie people, somebody was like be careful because this is a, a political thing back and forth I don't get that I don't care if people get mad at me that's what y'all haven't know, known me by now I don't care what people so think. in the next scene they're gonna go and you're gonna see that guy who's the shiva with the blue face. I was like, oh, he's coming right out the gate. Well, he's the main one, cause he's the grandpa in this, right? And and he had the blue face and doing this stuff. And and then they hear, you know, th th that wasn't even the theater he was gonna perform at. That's why he had the blue face, like they burned it down or something. And he's racing back home to uh, with his, you know, daughter and, and son-in-law there and the grandkids and, 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 you know, racing back home to get them because I guess there was a hit list and they went to these people's home and you know they were like hide and he goes and hides in this barrel of, of rice and all and 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 they all up there and and here comes the bad guys right here comes the bad guys gonna because they were tipped off the neighbor he done was like they got right he was telling the neighbor told on him and they're gonna go right up there knew that guy was in there start shooting up that rice thing oh you see the blood come down ah oh, just can't imagine the ladies there with the baby little Krishna baby. 
Then her other, the grandpa's there, push car, right? Then you got the little son there, Shiva, like the older son and, and her and, and you know, they're all up there and they're just kind of like torturing these people. And then that's when Pushkar, he recognizes the guy that's like with him and shot him up. And he's like, wasn't you my student? Like this way, the people doing this, it's not like they just came up in the town doing this. It's not that they, they just showed up in town doing this. They didn't grow up in this town. They ne He taught him, he was a student of his. They let them live though. They let him live after that, but not after they done took the rice with the blood on it and put it, made the lady eat it and was like, get out of town. So they're like going out of town, having, you know, get out of town, going in this refugee camp and everything. And then you kind of don't know what happened after that. They're at the refugee camp, but then it kind of goes in the forward, right? It goes forward in time. So you're kind of in present day and you see like this guy named Krishna and you were like, oh, that's the baby. That was the baby from then. There's Krishna. And it's it's interesting how they name these people, right? Because then you got Krishna and his brother is uh, Shiv, like Lord Shiv. Then they have the group of friends, like the older Pushkar's friends, right? Because they have one guy, his name is uh, uh, Brahma, right? Then they have another friend of the, of the group of friends and his name's Vishnu. And even the one lady who's married, I think she's married to Brahma. Her name is Laxmi. I was like, all the people there is named... I, after like gods, right? I mean, Krishna and, and Vishnu, like they're all, they, they, I guess some kind of symbolism, but I was, if anybody, if anybody knows, like if the director talked about this, cause I don't think that's the real names. <laughs> I don't think that's their real names. I would be, if that is their real names, that would be something of a coincidence <laughs> that they're all named after the, the gods and everything. But I would like to know like if the director talked about that or why, you know, he did that and, and talked about it, why he chose to name them all that. It just interests me. I just my cart right away. I was like, his name's Shiva and Krishna and, and Bra Vishnu. And I was like, and Laxmi. I was like, that is just, it, I caught it right away. And I was like, I wonder why some kind of symbolism, like what it meant to have everybody named that. So you find out though, right? You find out that, you know, the, the mom and the brother's dead now. Now that Krishna's older, he lives with his grandpa. The mom and the brother's dead. And he just keeps saying for accident. He just says an accident. So he don't even know the things that happened. I guess they came, they evacuated again. Because, you know, last you see him is at the refugee camp and that they evacuated. And I think, where were they at? Delhi? I don't remember where they live in now. When, but, you know, the grandson, Krishna's going to college and everything. And, and, and Pushkar, you know, he's out there. I guess he has a little bit of dementia, but he's like, you know, out there speaking about the article 370 and, and want to overturn that. So really out there protesting all the time, got his little signs and everything. And, but they, I'm telling you, Pushkar and then his, his grandson, Krishna, who escaped as a baby, they have different opinions on this. You know, Pushkar's over there like, this is what happened to us. I was there. And, and then Krishna's like, I'm talking about, I don't believe it. That's propaganda and stuff. That's when I was like, what? gonna say that's propaganda to his granddad which maybe you know if he hasn't talked to many people his granddad's a little maybe thinks he's a little dimensioned <laughs> a little dementia going crazy and stuff and and that's why he don't believe him but i was like that took me by surprise number one there you know then push cars his granddad's gonna pass away and his, i guess the last wishes of his granddad was to bring him and scatter his ashes back at cashmere so he goes back there and that's when he's greeted by all the, the you know, the friends of, of Pushkar, who I was talking about, Vishnu and Brahm and, and Laxmi. And they all had like political type or or not even political, but they had, you know, influence in Kashmir at the time, right? Like the one friend, he was like a reporter, like a news report all on the news. And the one was kind of like with the government and everything. So they you had like influence in that time. And also knew. So when here comes, you know, the grandson Krishna with his ashes of the put of put and all, and they're gonna be like, you know, he and he starts saying stuff about like the accident, and they're like, well, his parents, you know, my my brother and, and mom and and died in the accident, and they're like, what accident? He don't know, and they start saying, and he, you know, like starts, you know, saying stuff and. And he starts, you know, giving his opinion. Because first they're like, no politics. Let's not talk about politics, you know. But they're realizing, like, he don't know. And they're like, how did Pushkar not even tell his grandson about this stuff? I'm still wondering this. I'm still wondering, like, how 
have you not, after all these years, done told your grandson, like, what really happened there? And the thing to know about Krishna is, like, he's not only, like, doesn't believe it all, he's pretty outspoken. He's, like, joined this group with this one lady, the, the leader, who was, like, the teacher this the college they were in. And, and they're very much, like, that didn't happen, propaganda, Kishma. And he's, like, with them, right? He's, like, one speaking out. And I guess it means a lot for them because he is a cashmere punt like a pan like his last name's the panda right like that's his name he's from there he's one of these people that they say you know got ran out and genocide and everything but he's on your side now saying this propaganda so for her she was like oh i can use him right i can use him and he's gonna run for like president of the college for soci i don't know something with the president and she's like oh i can use him my advantage because look he's one of the the um descendants of the cashmere's that this happened to and he's on our side talking about it's propaganda didn't really happen so when he goes back to she's like i want you to go see my friend and the friend is actually was there when his dad got shot like one of the people Farrakhan. i don't know he's on the other side the one that was taught by the granddad push car that one He's an evil one right away. You know what I notice about him when he does his evil stuff? Just like Shakuni from the Mahabharat. You know when you watch the Mahabharat? He does his little eye just like that. I'm like, another thing the director with the God's names, but also taking stuff like from the Mahabharat. Like just little things that I picked up like that. Evilness. You know there's evil when you got that little eye twitching that he does. Or the eye. He goes and visits him. And, and you know him, he's like, he starts with propaganda. I know your friends and running for dad and and... And then he's like, oh, about your parent or your mom and brother, how they died. He's like, you know how they died, huh? The Indian army killed them. It was the Indian army and, and he's believing them. So he goes back to the friends and was like, the Indian army killed my parents? How can you let this happen? You da, 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 da. And that's when they're like, we're gonna have to tell this boy the truth. <laughs> that's when they're like, we're gonna have to tell this boy what had really happened here. They told him, they told him how his, parent, his mom and brother died, which, oh my gosh. Y'all, I mean, I cried so much in that movie. I think the tears, I, I, I don't have any tears left. <laughs> I don't have any tears left. But so you find out, right, that they were last just seeing the brother and the mom was at like the refugee camp. And it was it was their friend that Brom, the, the one that was at the government who came to refugee camp and was telling them, like, come back. That's what come back to Kashmir, like. This is your home. Come back. Things are going to, I guess they're telling me it's going to be fine. Well, they still go back and they have to live in like these houses with 25 other people still kind of repressed and everything, you know? So I guess, so you know that they're all living back, you know, with the, the little baby Christian. He's a little older. He's like a toddler then and, and, the, and the granddad push cars there and all. And I guess the Indian, so the, the, the bad guys, like they dress up like the Indian army and have everybody come out there come out come out and and everybody's like oh it's the indian army okay and and the here comes push car he's like y'all are fakes like <laughs> right away he knew he came out everybody's out there y'all fakes and then they start beating him up and everything and and there's this the mom and she's like no stop and i don't even want to talk about this next part because it makes me sick to my stomach what they do what they did they took her and and they had one of those wood split machines and split her body in half and made the, her little son, because Shiva came out there wanting to protect his mom, made him watch. And they did to her, oh my God. Like, I wanted to th throw up. I was just so sick to my stomach. I was just so sick to my stomach. And then it makes me, because I've done the trailer reactions to these, and I had comments of people like, the, the one guy talked about, you know, his grandparents told stories there their cashmere you know they came from cashmere and they told stories of like just the brutality and everything talking about you know people were were cut up their breasts cut up and, and made and made fed it to like their spouses and and just the horrific i mean you can't even think of just the horrific acts that humans would do to each other. It just, it breaks my heart. After that little boy Shiva had to watch that, then they had this mass grave, had all these people line up and 25 sh sh went, shot him right in the head. Psh, psh, psh. And some of these scenes when they shot in the head. Oh, I forgot which scene it was, but as they shot and you didn't see it get shot, but like the brain splattered. 
they made them intense. But they shot all those people in that mass grave. The last one was the little boy Shiv, and that's how he finds out his family dies. Then here's Krishna, finally found out the truth, and he's going back, right? He has to go back to his college and all, and that lady's there, because he's got to give this big speech for president. And you just know. You just know when he shows up then. You're like, oh no, he knows the truth now. He went back home. He went back to Kashmir, found out from you know, the people there what happened to his family. He ain't gonna play around. And he gave this speech. He gave this speech. I was just bawling with the speech. You know, the things happening. Cause you know, you know like, and people were standing up. You're lying, you da da da. But that's the thing. Because he just, they know he just returned from there. This is things he learned and found out from being there. This guy going to stand up talking about you're lying. You didn't, you weren't there. He was not there. How, how are you going to say he's lying? You was never there. So it's just propaganda that you're hearing that he thinks you're lying. But right here, over here, he's, he was firsthand. He was there. He talked to the people that really happened to. And you're going to say he's lying. That's the thing about it. That's the thing about it. How can you, first of all, the people that went through this firsthand, witnessed the tortures, you know, had been tortured, w went through all this horrific things, escaped from it, finally escaped, and, and, and they're going to come to this, this, you know, after going through this horrific things, and going to come back and have to face people saying they're lying about it? No wonder, like, they're like, you know, why didn't people hear about it? Why didn't da da da? No wonder people didn't want to speak up, <laughs> you know? I mean, no wonder. You're going to believe something, that, you know, some propaganda from people that didn't go through all this saying this lies and stuff. And people that went through it and telling you what they saw. Now, I know this right whole thing is about, like, you know, the whole tension there is about, you know, religion, Muslims and Hindus and it was like a clash because I mean that was the thing convert that was like the same convert or or die or, or leave because what is it convert leave or die like that was your choices you either convert to the Muslims you leave or you die and I know if it's like something in your religion you ain't gonna be you know wanting to to face that or, or think you know think bad things done in the name of your religion I can understand that I can understand that but in it, I, I don't think so much this is a religion thing, you know? I mean, it is. That was the whole thing about it. But you don't have to defend it because it's your religion. There's bad people in all religions that will do stuff and, and, and in groups do stuff. So just because they did it in the name of theirs, I don't think it's like something that's condoned by the Muslims. But I'm just saying, I, I don't know much about the religion so for me to say anything, but it's kind of like wars that go on especially when the people think of the wars now you know ukraine and russia and a lot of people in russia are not you know don't want a war they don't want to see what's going on a war for this so you can't say oh all oh, the russians are to. no this is some people handful of people that are happy to be russian are for it you know you can't blame all the people in that religion and i can say that i can see why that would the, the people that are muslim would get defensive because it's like i didn't do it you know but you still can't deny that this happened to people. You can't. When there's so many people coming forward and, and, and telling their stories of this. And first, me. You know, people that are subs have come forward and, and telling their stories, like telling us what happened. To me personally, they're tell, telling me these stories. I'm going to say they're liars? No. <laughs> you know, they didn't have to speak up. They say this director has been getting all the death threats for this and coming out. But also, you know, I was surprised out of all like the different stories that I heard people in my, you know, comments telling things that their family had told them that they went through the grandparents that I, I mean, there was so much more. I'm sure they could have like told about the brutality that happened there. And I know that director said that he has like tons more stuff um, footage of of people just telling their story. I, I was a little shocked that they didn't show more of the brutality in this. But I think it made even more of a bigger impact of the story it did tell. You know, telling that this one little baby, one little baby that the only really one in their family that don't remember what happened, 
being taken away, you know, even by his grandparents who knows what happened and growing up in a society that keeps telling them it's a lie and stuff can be so easily fooled into believing it is. So much that it took him going back there and even when he back, he still didn't believe it. But learning about what happened to his mom and brother, what, I mean, he had to stay there and just start learning and reading and, and talking to people and talking to people that went through it to really be, believe it himself. Like, I think that this, this movie right here shows the tragedies people went through during this time, but also it pinpoints the tragedies people are still going through because of this, the, the tragedy of still denying that this happened still and and people that's family this happened to that are denying it and that's what hit me like most of all in this probably because i knew the backstory of everything else going into it but that just hit me that just hit me right there and it's just like this story needed to be told it did i mean you don't have to believe it or watch it but you know, for the victims, for the people that, you know, had to go through this and the families and stuff, it needed, it needed to be told, you know. And just because people want to deny it and say it's propaganda and the truth, even if you deny it, you can't deny the truth. If Even if you don't want to believe it, it doesn't mean it didn't still happen. And I believe it did. And I'm grateful that they told the story for for those survivors there to get to speak, you know, to get to, you know, have a voice now because they sure didn't before, did they? I guess I made people mad, <laughs> but you know me, I'm going to say what I feel. If they don't like it, look, they could have clicked off and kept going. Anyway, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, y'all.